hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel so for today's video we'll be doing a full face of la colors all from the dollar tree so each item in this video is no more than a dollar 25 so i kept it very affordable because la colors they also sell it in like walmart dollar general places like that family dollar also so the the price varies from about a dollar to maybe eight dollars so um i'm pretty sure that everything's under 10 i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm pretty sure so yeah let's jump right into the video okay so the first thing i'm going to do is prime my eyelids and for prime for eyeshadow primer today i have the la colors eye primer and this is the matte finish one and it just looks like this and let me just show you let me just show you what the shade is, looks like. I'm gonna put it directly on my eyelid and blend it with the, uh, actually I'm gonna put it, look, I'll show you what this looks like. So that's what it looks like. And this I've used before, like a lot of these products are new to me, but this I've used before and I really do like it, it's really good. So I'm um, just gonna blend this in really quickly and then we will, I will show you the palettes that I'll be jumping in with. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I picked up this, these two palettes by LA Colors. One is in Almost Nude and it looks like that. Let me just open up and show you these shades. They are really, really pretty. Um, that's what they look like. And again, this one is in almost nude. And then the next one is in playful. And that one looks like this. Very, very beautiful. I love all these shades. Um, so the first shade we're gonna dip into, which is gonna be in almost nude palette, is gonna be this brown shade right here. Let's see what this pigment is gonna be like. Okay, that's really good pigment. I really like that. start to blend this upwards to define the outer corner here and then I'm just going to blend this inwards give it that gradient effect in the outer corner and then I'm going to start to blend here so it's not such a blunt line here and I'm going to blend down here as well now, if it starts to look a little messy down here, that's fine because I'm going to clean all of this up when I'm done. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And I thought I was going to have to go in with two shades in the um, outer corner, but this shade is very pigment. So again, this is the palette almost nude and just like for this shade alone i would get it because this is a dollar 25 and this is beautiful not to mention these two shimmers which i've already swatched they are so so pretty and i'll be using one of them today i'm not sure which one but i will swatch both of them for you so let's do the other eye Okay, so I just went off camera and I just blended this eye a little more because it was looking a little messy compared to this one. I do like it. It's a little difficult to blend, but it's very pigmented. And if you just take your time and work with it, which I didn't take my time that much and work with it, but I did 
um, mess with it a little bit to try to get a better blend, but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. And I'm gonna go in with the lid shade. So for the lid, I believe I'd like to go in. Let me see, I'm gonna swatch the gold shade for you and the silver shade. And I'm gonna, I'm looking at them and I believe I'm gonna go in with the gold shade. Yeah, okay. So this is the gold shade right here. You can see it, it's right here. And this is the silver shade. So this one looks much more pigment scent. So I'm going to use this. Um, and the little sponge applicators that it comes with, I'm just gonna use this to apply that to my lid. Actually, this looks like it might apply the best with the finger, but let me just see. Oh, this is beautiful. I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but it's so pretty. Oh yeah, I like that color a lot. There is fallout, so man, you know, with most affordable palettes, you're gonna expect the fallout, and these, this is a little chunky but they're also buttery especially if you use your fingers but i'm just using this because i feel like these applicators are really good for uh shimmers they come out really beautiful so that's that so next what i'm going to jump into is um eyeliner for eyeliner i have the la colors eye marker and this one is in the shade black and it just looks like this it's a pen and this is what the tip looks like. It is a felt tip. Let me just uh, show you a little closer so you can see that. Okay, and we're gonna see uh, how this works out. I believe I tried this before, but I don't remember how I liked it, so I just repurchased it. so good I am gonna do a win so we're gonna take it out right there and then we're gonna bring it Just like that and then we shake this up now we're just gonna fill it in okay I definitely <laughs> I definitely messed up that wing but I'm gonna clean it up I'm not too crazy about the formula of this pen. Um, I'm not sure if these are matte. If it's matte, I guess it's worth playing around with and seeing if I can get it to work out for me. Let me look at it in the mirror and see if this is drying matte. And it is drying down matte, so I do like that. Let me get a Q-tip and clean this up, and I'll be right back. All right, so I tried to clean this up as best as I could. It it's not my greatest wing. It doesn't look the best at all, but I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to go off camera and do this other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did the other side. Um, there is a learning curve to that liner, for me at least. It, it glided on a lot better, but if you have wrinklier eyes like I do, you're going to have to really close your eyelid as much as you can when you're putting on that liner so it'll glide and your wrinkles will be less prominent. It will it'll work so much better. So for me, being 42 years old, it is a struggle, but I was able to do a little something over here not matching so perfectly over here but you know what we're just gonna go with it and move into the next thing all right so now um 
I'm gonna go, I'm, I have some lashes here. I have the LA Colors Dramatic Lash and Delightful. And they look like this. They are so, 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 so pretty. Um, I'm not gonna put them on yet because I don't wanna get powder and all that other stuff in them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right into the brows. And for eyebrows, I have the LA Colors Brow Pencil and this one's in the shade Medium. So it looks like this. And then we're just gonna go right into the brows. Okay, already I can see the medium brown is not the best shade for me since I have black hair. And also I'm growing out my grays if you haven't noticed. Um, but I'm just going to go with it and continue to use it. It's not that hard to use though. It's just the color that's throwing me off. But it's not the most creamy pencil, but it's not the most dry either. It's like a good mix. It's in the middle. So I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows and we'll go to the next step. All right, so the eyebrows are on. I'm just gonna leave them like this. They look way too reddish brown, like for my hair color, but it is what it is. I'm gonna see if I can find the deeper shade for my next video, whether it's showing just Dollar Tree makeup or more LA colors. I do wanna try it again because it's not a bad pencil, so. And the formula feels like it's it would be long lasting, so I am gonna check on that. I will update you in the description or in another video. Next, we're gonna jump right into foundation. So for foundation, I have the LA Colors Liquid Makeup. This one, I guess, is a natural look. Um, it doesn't say what the finish of this is, but I got this in the shade Creamy Beige, and it looks like this. It's just this little small tube right here. So I'm just going to shake it and then apply a little bit to my sponge. So, and then let's see, I believe I may have tried this foundation before, but if I did, it's been years. I don't know how I feel about it. I did try the matte formula and I do like that one. So let's see how this one is all right so so far it does have some coverage it has very light coverage yeah this this coverage is too light for my preference but i'm gonna see if how it layers i'm gonna finish the rest of the face and then i'm gonna come back on and we're gonna try and layer this up Okay, so I am, I've been applying it to the rest of my face and I'm not completely finished blending, but I really don't like this. It's like I'm trying to blend in a moisturizer and it's not doing anything. It's not covering anything and it's not even blending that great. So I would not recommend this. Um, it is, let me see. It's not even really covering my redness too well. Um, yeah, no, I wouldn't recommend this at all. Wow, and it almost, it's almost like, like when I added some over here, I added way too much, so I put a little more over here where I already had product, and instead of like layering it on, it started picking up the product that was already laid down, so that is a no-no for me. Okay, so now for concealer. I don't have a LA Girl concealer, 
Oh no, I just realized I forgot to use the primer. So I did get a smoothing face primer. It's a color correcting, clear, and it minimizes pores. But this is supposed to be in clear. Let me see if it's actually clear. No, it's white. It's a white formula, if you can see that. So I forgot to use it, so I will try it in my next video. I don't have a, con a concealer, but I do have this LA Colors Matte Liquid Foundation in the shade Porcelain. And it's too light for like a concealer I would wear normally, but I'm gonna try and make it work. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, the shade is very light, but we're just gonna go with it. I wanna brighten the area, but I want to cut what in the hell is happening here. I feel like that just took off the foundation too. Oh no, this video <laughs> is a complete fail. All right, <clears throat> let me just finish. Oh wow, it's sticking to the sponge. I know it's not the sponge because I've tried this sponge before. And that's my fiance in the back laughing at me. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but it left like little white dots right here. And now I have no coverage whatsoever under my eyes. So I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna use another concealer that's not LA Colors and I'll be right back. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with a contour stick and this is by LA Colors as well as everything else in this video. And this one's in the shade Medium. And this is, a lot of these LA Color uh, products are new formulations, like the eyeshadow palettes, that was a new formulation. Um, now the liquid makeup, the foundation, I believe is the same formula, I'm not positive, I threw out the packaging, I will double check that for you. Um, these primers are new, the face primer, but I did not use that, the eye marker I believe is the same. Eyebrow pencil is the new formula, which I do like the formula, just not the shade. And then, what else did I use? Okay, that's it for now. And this is, um, these are in new shades and formulas, I believe. Well, this one, as I said, is in the shade medium. So let's start with this. So we're gonna see how this new formula blends out. We're gonna go in with a brush first. So I'll go in with the brush on one side and then I'll go in with the sponge on the other side and we'll see how that works out. So let's go in on this side. So these do blend out really pretty. Alright, I'm gonna blend this with the sponge. I was supposed to blend up here with the sponge too, but I got carried away. So let me go in right here with the sponge and see how that comes out. Okay, so I definitely prefer the side with the brush and the side with the sponge. I'd rather blend it with the brush and then just go over it with the sponge. So I think that's what I'll do from now on. Like, I feel like this side is so blunt and it didn't blend as well as this side. It could be the sponge I'm using, I'm not sure, or it could be the foundation, it could be the base that's making it harder to blend with the sponge because I did put the base on with the sponge. So I should have tested this side out with the brush with the foundation, but I didn't. So let's see. Now I'm just gonna blend out the nose contour. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with cream blush. I have two cream blushes to choose from. I have the LA Colors Cream Gel Blush and I have it in the shade Bare Blush. 
and looks like that and it's a really pretty shade okay. that's the color right there you can see how pretty that is and then we have i think i might just go on with both I think I might start with the LA Colors Makeup Stick, and this one is in the shade Pink Satin, and that one looks like this. Very pretty. So we're going to start with the Pink Satin, and we're just going to put that right on the face. So, Oh wow, it's not even showing up on my skin tone at all. Okay, so we're not going to go with <laughs> the Pink Satin. Okay, so... This one I've, I've tried, very beautiful, so we're gonna put this on really quickly, and... definitely forgot how pigmented this was like that is a lot so I'm hoping when I put powder on it'll calm it down a bit and I probably won't even need to put any additional blush but I did buy some powder blushes so we are probably just gonna try one anyway or at least swatch it let me see I'm gonna bring it up here give you that cold winter look now the two um, blushes I picked up from LA colors they're both reformulated blushes and I have one in the shade peach rose and that one looks like that very pretty but it's very light as well so I'm probably gonna go in with toast which I do own already but this is the new formulation and the color does look different so most likely I'm gonna go in with this one no actually I am gonna go in with this one so wait a minute I don't even know why I'm showing you the blushes yet it's like I forgot the order of makeup so before I go into that I'm just gonna go into some face powder and set everything down and for powder I'm gonna go in with the LA Colors. This is their pressed powder and this one's in the shade beige. It's a bit light, but I'm just gonna put a dusting on. I like it to set under the eyes. It is a little, a bit brightening, so I don't know what it's gonna do to the rest of my face. I do like it under the eyes a lot. Okay, it did tone down the blush a lot, so I like that because that was way too pigmented. So now the face is set. So now we're gonna go into powder blush. No, we're not. Now we're gonna go into contour. All right, so for contour, I have this new LA Colors Matte Bronzer and this one's in the shade Bronze Beauty. And this one is a new formulation as well. This is what the packaging looks like now. It's just a little different with this on here. So you can tell when you see it in the store and this is the what it looks like. So we're gonna go in and contour with this. I 
forgot to contour here, so I'm just gonna put a little powder there. And this has some kickback, but not too much. So that's a good thing. That's one thing I like about the new formulation of the bronzer. So it's pretty shade as well, so I would re recommend. So this is again the matte bronzer in bronze beauty. All right, so next we're gonna go into blush and we're gonna go into that shade Toast. And again, it looks like this. It has some shimmer in it, so I don't know. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's a top coat or what. It's just gonna be shimmery. Let's see how this looks. Okay, now that's really pretty, pretty. That's so pretty. Okay, so I got a mascara from LA Colors as well, and this one is their Big Lash, and it is in the shade Beyond Black, and it is this little tube right here. Um, I kind of want to try and see how the formula is without the lashes, so I think I'm going to save these lashes for another video. Again, these are the LA Colors and Delightful. They're so, so pretty. They're very wispy and natural looking, so I think I'm going to save these for another video. And I'm gonna try out this formula. So, oh, but before I do that, I wanna smear all that. I'm gonna spray my face with some spreading. I'm gonna spray my face with some setting spray. Mm -hmm. And this is the LA Colors, and it's just a regular travel size setting spray. Whoa. I think that just soaked me. Okay. That, that, I, I don't like the spritzer on that at all. Okay. So let's try this formula. I don't curl my lashes anymore because I feel like I get a better feel of what the mascara does without curling. So let's see. So far, it's a very wet formula. So far, it's not doing anything. I don't know, I feel like if it was a drier formula, it wouldn't be so bad. Let's see how it looks. Hold on one second. Okay, it actually gave me length. It's not the worst if you can see the length that it gave. I like that. I'm gonna do the other side and then I'm gonna apply a second coat to both. Okay, so it didn't give me the most length, but it did give me some. So I have to say this is probably the best Dollar Tree mascara I've tried. If you need something quick and you need a bit of length, I would pick this up. Again, it's the Big Lash Mascara by LA Colors. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do is apply our lip color. Now for lips, I have three products. The first thing I have is this Lip Liner Ballet Colors and it is in the shade Chocolate. Um, it's their auto lip liner, it looks like this. And let me show you the shade. And this is the color, look like that. And let's get this lip liner on.
Okay, and next for lipstick, I have a liquid lip from Remy Rose. Now this would be the only product in the video that is not LA Colors, but I did want to try it because it is new. And this I picked up in Dollar Tree and this one is in the shade Robin. So we're going to try it today. Oh, and also the concealer I ended up using was the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. And it looks like this. And it is in the shade J Medium Olive. Okay, so let's try this color in Robin. And that's and that's what the lip color looks like. I'm just gonna give that a second to dry and I'll be right back to show you the lip gloss I want to use. All right, I'm back and it's dry. It's semi-dry. Is it transfer proof? No, it is not. So as you can see. So the next thing I have is this plump gloss by LA Colors. And this is also a new formula. And this one's in the, in the shade Surge. Looks like this. So let's put this on. I love these plumping glosses. They have a little tingle, but they the formula is so nice. And they are so pigmented. Like, look how that changed it right away from that pink pale shade to this beautiful peachy nude shade. It's really pretty. And another thing I forgot in today's video is the highlighter. Now, before I put on the highlighter, I just want to say one thing. They did reformulate. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know my favorite highlighter is the LA Colors Highlighter um, in Shine Bright. And they reformulated it. The color looks a little different. Um, not sure how it will apply. This is what it looks like now. And this is what the packaging looks like. Same packaging, it just has this as well on it, like the bronzer. That's how you can tell it has the new formulation. So I'm, then, I'm going to get a clean brush. And we're going to test this bad boy out. Okay, so let's... Okay, that's still wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is beautiful. Like, can you see that glow? Oh, how can you not see that glow? That is beautiful. And it looks pretty natural. Like, I'm looking in the mirror. In the mirror, it looks kind of pale. But on camera, it's picking up. Like, it just blends into the skin beautifully. So... And then if I'm looking at my other mirror that's in front of me, it looks beautiful as well. So I'm not, I think it just depends on the lighting, but I really do like it still. So I'm happy about that because I was, I, I would have been so upset if I, if they, you know, changed the formulation and then it just wasn't as good, but this is beautiful. Like, I love it. a little bit on the nose okay okay so out of all the la colors products i tried today for the most part i really did like a lot of these things like the new formulation of the 
highlighter was beautiful i really enjoyed that the matte bronzer i really do like that and i believe that was bronze beauty the mascara wasn't so bad the lip glosses i already love them by the way the plumping glosses they don't they tingle a little bit and i feel like the, the old formulation tingled a lot more than this new one so it's very comfortable whether it plumps the lips or not the original didn't really but i just love the formula like they're not sticky they're very comfortable to wear and they're very pigmented and they're really pretty so um um the blush was very beautiful um in toasted and the formula is different yes but the color is different as well and i really do like this new one it's very very pretty um the eyeshadow primer i've used before now the two foundations the one i use as a concealer and the one i use as the foundation i would say no to both now i've tried this one before as a foundation and i don't remember having an issue with it but i don't know if it was reformulated or not but i really don't care for either one of these so i would not repurchase these and then the primer i have yet to use so i'll definitely try that now these eyeshadow palettes are so pretty so good love them the contour stick was really good i like that as well then we had the eyeliner like i said it was a learning curve for me because my eyes are a little more wrinkly but i really do like it and then we have uh i think that's everything oh and the face powder which is a little light but it ended up working out perfectly it did not give me a pale face i gave it a nice little dusting and everything worked out perfect. all right so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this and i'll see you in my next video bye